Today's makeup look will be on this soft pink and mauve tone makeup that I wore to my brother's 18th birthday dinner. I absolutely adore this makeup because it's super soft with the pink and mauve like spring tone colors. But it's also glam with the lashes and the liner and it's really appropriate for a function like a birthday dinner or a birthday party. So keep watching so you guys can recreate this look at home. So first I'm grabbing my Anise Bless This Mist Skin Elixir and I love applying this on my face. It keeps my skin super hydrated and I'm following that with just applying some Cherry Carmex that I stole from my boyfriend onto my lips. Now taking this Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil, I'm applying this all over my face so my face can, like I said, be super hydrated under my makeup. And I'm following that with a mattifying face primer from Sasha's Cosmetics. I was sent this to review and so far I've been loving it. It keeps my makeup super matte and not oily at all after applying all those moisturizers. So now going in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Medium Brown. I'm just going in underneath my brows to just kind of sharpen them up a bit. My brows have been doing strange things lately so they need a little love but not too much. Now with my Maybelline Concealer in the color Cafe, which is number 30, I believe, I'm just going to be carving out the shape of my brows with this flat eyeliner brush and then buffing that out with my Morphe M173 brush. Now for my Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette, I'm taking the color Morocco on my MAC 217 brush and I'm just applying this in my crease area and transition area and windshield wiper motions to kind of just buff the color into that area, kind of in a concentrated manner. Now with my Violet Voss Holy Grail palette, I'm taking the color Are You Kidding Me, which is just this soft light brown matte color. I wish I would have applied this first before that first color, but I'm just buffing this into my transition area and my brow bone area with my MAC 224 brush just to lighten up that first color I applied. Now going back into the Shadow Couture palette, I'm taking the color Fudge on that 217 brush and I'm just placing this in my outer V to just kind of give my eyes some definition and to smoke them out just a little bit. And now going on to my actual lid, um, just the outer corner of that lid, I'm just placing that color to also deepen up the outer part of my lid as well. Now the 224 brush, I'm just making sure everything is blending seamlessly and going in with the color Spoiled from the Shadow Couture palette. I'm taking my MAC 239 brush, I believe, and I'm just placing this all over my lid. And then I'm going in with the color Morocco from the Shadow Couture palette and just blending the three colors together. Now with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, I'm just going to line my eyes. As you can see, I was about to create the wing first. But I thought about my foundation and how when I apply foundation, I always mess up my wing. So I'm going to go back on the back end and apply the wing. And for now, I'm just lining my eyes regularly without the wing. And now taking my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation in the color Pecan, which is number 57, I believe. I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And I'm putting this on with my finger first. I don't know why I did that, but I just did it. And it really made my foundation just really melt into my skin. So it looked just very realistic. My mom was like, girl, what foundation do you have on? Because it looks amazing. And I guess that just came from me blending it in with my finger and having that skin to skin contact. And once I get that on my face, I'm just going in with my beauty blender and just further blending this in. This is damp, by the way. Now with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee, I'm just going to highlight under my eyes, um, down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, on my chin. All the areas that I usually highlight is just basically what I'm doing here in this scene. And then I'm just going to blend this out with that damp beauty blender that has some of the foundation on it. This is just going to help my foundation and my concealer kind of just really blend into each other. And now with my Morphe M173 brush that I used under my brows, I'm going to use this to just further smooth out that concealer so that it just further blends in really nicely with my foundation. Now taking the Sasha Cosmetics uh, Buttercup Powder, I'm just applying this on the areas that I highlighted. I was also sent this powder 
and I've been loving it so far just as I've been loving the mattifying primer and if you guys are interested definitely use my coupon code Dale one so that you can get 15% off of your purchase with Sasha Cosmetics now with my cream contour kit by Anastasia I'm taking the color chocolate out of this palette or maybe it's a cinnamon I get them confused anyway I'm just going to apply this into the hollows of my cheek area just to slim down my face a little bit because um, yeah who doesn't want to look a little bit slimmer right and then I'm just kind of buffing this upward into my forehead area as well So now taking my MAC Mineralized Powder in the color Dark, I'm just brushing away the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Powder and then I'm also going to just apply this dark powder all over my face so that just everything just like looks super duper seamless. Now taking the coral color out of the cream contour kit, I'm just applying this on the apples of my cheeks. I never really wear blush, but I wanted to add a little bit of color back into my face. So I felt like this was subtle enough to do it. This is really used for color correcting, but I wanted to use it as a blush. So now taking that tattoo liner from Kat Von D, I'm just going in and finishing off my wing liner since I have my foundation and all my powder and everything done. And now taking this MAC 219 brush or just a pencil brush, I'm going in with the color Fudge from my Shadow Couture palette. And then I'm going in after that with the color Morocco to further smoke out the color Fudge and just smudge it a little bit so I don't have to wear a liner on my lower lash line. Now taking the Their Real Mascara by Benefit, I am just coating my lashes with this. And then I'm going in with these Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes. You can find these at Target in the little lash section and they last forever. This is probably like my sixth or seventh time wearing this one pair. Like y'all, they are the business. Now taking the True Brown K Lip Pencil, I'm just going to line my lips with this. I love the lip pencils in the lip kits just because they just glide on so amazing. I think that's the best part about having the lip kit in my opinion. Um, it's just that the products are just so super creamy. So I'm just lining my lips with this. Now taking the True Brown Clay Liquid Lipstick, I'm applying this on the outer part of my lip, closer to my lip line, and then going in the center with Candy K to just create an ombre lip, and I'm rubbing my lips together as you can see here. And I'm going back in with the True Brown K Lip Pencil just to kind of deepen up the outer part of my lips, and then I'm rubbing my lips together some more. That's just really going to help make that ombre effect just really show up. Now taking my MAC Fix Plus Spray, I'm just spraying this all over my face. It just helps everything melt into my skin and just look very, very natural. And now with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color, I think this is either Global Glow or Soft and Gentle. I'll have it down below. I'm using my Morphe M200 brush to apply this on the tip of my nose and on my brow bone area. And I actually meant to do this before I put on my Fix Plus Spray. But I did it afterwards um, because I forgot to do it. Then I went back again with the Fix Plus Spray just to make that highlight just really glisten. So that's pretty much the finished look. The Fix Plus Spray is going to dry um, and not leave all those little splotches that you guys see. But that's the finished look. All the stuff will be down below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And leave what other makeup looks you want to see um, so I can have some ideas of what to do. So I'll see you guys in my next video.